Hello everyone and welcome in this tutorial. Today we are going to explore how we can call an input and record when a player presses something inside Godot. So uh, the only thing that I did in this scene was to create a, a node, a root node, and I attached a script. It's fairly easy to do, there is just a button here to, do, to click. Then we can go on the script section. This is the script for our node. Now, to, to see when the player presses something, uh, we have to go on the process uh, function because this is a function that is called every single frame. Because, of course, we have to check if something has been pressed in every single frame. Now we can write input because we have to check an input dot is action just pressed now there are two very similar methods and uh, it's this is action just press this is going to be called and turn into true when the key is pressed uh, is first pressed so the first frame that uh, the key is is pressed is going to turn into true all the all the other frames is going to be false but if we delete just is action pressed this is going to be always as long as the key is pressed down we want just uh, we want to leave just uh, the, there is also is action just released released so if we want uh, the action to be triggered when the, we released a button and here inside here we have to add an input now how we, we how do we write it it's fairly easy we have to create something here project project settings here it's probably going to be open here in general we have to go under input map and these are all pre-made things that are inside Godot these are for the UI so I suggest not to use them for your things but you can start making some prototyping using these things but it's fairly easy also to add uh, some input input uh, actions so here we, we can write the name of our action we want for example to press enter we click on add and here at the bottom we see we have an action that is called but we don't have anything behind below we don't have uh, any key that the, that this action is related to so we add we click on this I don't know why it's it's showing remove because it's adding but anyway we press it and we can see for mouse button joy axis or joy button we press on key because we want a key and now we have to press the key that we want of course the action to be triggered for in this case is enter so we press enter and click OK. Now every time now it's on. We can close this and here we can add press enter. As you can see these are all the things that we saw earlier plus the new that we added and here we have it. Now this is going to be true every time we press enter the first frame. So for example we can do something like an if that is checking this if this is true or if we have this as an input for beginners I will add true so if this input is true we can write some, something like a print like enter pressed for, because when we press enter it is going to be called and be shown now we can press play and see if it's working we press enter and here we have enter pressed so it's it did record uh, a key that is an input so i hope you liked this video uh, leave a comment below subscribe and see you next time bye bye